Hi guys. I, I was asked by a guy in the comments there, Gunther, to go into a bit more detail about um, setting up the uh, zero delay uh, USB input board for the uh, mini pinball that I made. Um, <coughs> as well as some other things. So we'll just very briefly go through this. Basically what the kit consists of, if you buy this kit, is you, there's a, a small circuit board and various plug sockets for the, for the buttons and joystick and what have you. There's a button, there's a joystick, a button, um, an eight-way joystick. You can include, you can use, obviously, one of the guys mentioned there, uh, it doesn't need to be on a pinball, and that's correct, I did it for MAME. Um, you can make this into an eight or a four way just by changing the, the, the position of this of this guard. Um, but um, that came as part of the kit, so I'll show you how to do that. You get eight of these buttons, these are 32 millimeter buttons, um, and you get a couple of the 25mm buttons. These are LED, you can get kits without LEDs, but there are uh, two sets of connectors in there, one for power, uh, for the button obviously signal, the other one for the, LED, for the LED. One of the shortcomings here you notice about this, although each button will have a, uh, its own uh, individual uh, uh, connection, there's not an individual connection for the LEDs and you can buy more expensive ones if that's what you want to do um, but basically this is obviously the cheapest one that I could find so so you basically have to have to use a, a different method you get 10 of these small cables that go um, the three and a half mil uh, spade connectors to the back of the uh, the buttons and each one goes into a, a, a plug there um, there's a cable for the uh, joystick and there's a cable for the USB connection. So uh, basically just a case of putting it all together. Obviously what you, you'd be putting it into, it's, it, into a, a pinball box or a main cabinet box similar to uh, something like uh, this which uh, is something I've been working on. Oh. Um, but basically, we're just going to do it out on the top here, so you can see, so you can see what it was all, uh, what it's all about. We'll set up one of these buttons, set up a joystick, and, and attach it to the computer, and you can you can see exactly how that how that works. The spade connectors is, is pretty simple. The ones on the outside are for the LED on there is the micro switch. Now the way that this these go on is. Uh, top right here, bottom left of the, of the positive, the red cable, this one here is the negative, okay, so just pop them on there, that on there, that's for one set, now these are for, these, I'm touching them to the LED, I'm going to put them to the power so you can see the LED come on, but you would need to daisy chain these together, basically, <coughs> the way that I did it, is that these you, you you can cut the cables here, splice them together, and then you run that you run that through. Beg your pardon, this way around. You run that through to the next one, and you do the same. You do the same. You need to set up in your in your in your cabinet exactly where you're going to put these, so you know the length of the cable that you're going to use. There's another easier option is where you can actually order a daisy chain set of these cables with the with the uh, uh, with the spade connectors already on. For a few dollars, but but I, I did it myself. It, it wasn't that difficult. It took a little bit of time uh, on the on the pinball there, but but basically, we're just going to show you on, on one or two buttons here how how this is is, is put together. Okay, so uh, again, red uh, uh, opposite uh, corners, the positive, and then the negative goes to that that one there. But basically, that that's it. Uh, now on on the board here, as you can see. This is this is the the cable for the for the micro switch. There's only one way around. You can put this in. You you couldn't get it in the wrong way around. Even if you tried forcing it, um, it, it just slips in and, and and clicks into place there. So basically, that's it as far as wiring the micro switch up is concerned. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to these are the two power 
these are a two power just to go through this these all connect to, to buttons um, as do these uh, and basically you've got connection number one button number one two three or zero one two three four five six seven eight etc around around here these ones here will just be standard buttons but these ones here if you look at the text down the side you've got like mode and turbo so if you set buttons up to this then you they, then they will uh, like an auto fire or a mode changing uh, um, button for the pinball that, that's not necessary but it might be something you want to experiment with put a button on there and then and then see what happens these two red ones here have have power um, so this is a plus 5 volt, so this will power the LED, as I said, plug that in there. Okay, so that's the third, first button done. To continue uh, um, having, uh, having uh, the LEDs, obviously, you know, only two power buttons, as I said, you're going to have to daisy chain all those together. But each button needs its own separate input, and that's why these are, these are like this. You, you, we could, I, I can show you here with another, another button. I'll wire up, wire up another button very, very quickly. Um, that's this one, this one here. And as I said, uh, opposite corners on, here on, on, the, on the red, on the red one here. And the, and the black one goes to here. And that would be button number two. Or, or whichever you want, you want to put it on. Uh, it, does, it doesn't really matter. You might want to do it logically, but it doesn't really matter exactly uh, how you wire these up because in in uh, the uh, joystick properties uh, in in on the computer you can check you can change these at uh, what the button actually does but basically this is button one button two and on the joystick the joystick there's a couple, a couple of different types of joysticks that i found and um, this one here is obviously it's a very cheap one but it um, you've got two sets of it, it, some of them need to be wired up separately. Each each uh, movement has its would have its own cable and be plugged into this one here. However, this one uh, doesn't do that. Uh, um, and basically, on this particular joystick, you need to plug this. Um, you need to plug this into into here. There you go. There's a five-pin connector there, and then there's only one place on the board that you can put it in, um, and that's here. So we'll just we'll just plug that plug that joystick into there. There you go. So that's that's sorted. Um, and then basically that, that's about it. You just continue going through each of these for every every button that you want. In order to get the LED to come on here, you can see this here. Now the plug socket here is the same as the plug here, so so this kind of this cable is is of no use. So you can see that's what I, I, I prepared there. But basically, what you would need to do is uh, similar to this one. You would need a uh, a plug type uh, to the same type of plug. So what I'll, I'll show you on this, and we use this power out of the second socket there on that, and then take that to the uh, to the power input on that. Now that should power the LED. Um, now what you can see is you've all also daisy changed another connection here because I got hold of a couple of these. These are uh, one and two player start buttons for the other for the other project that I that I am going to start. And again this is power for the LEDs. The LED on this one goes to here. Um, no, I think that's, I think that's negative and that's positive. Might have got, I might have that put the wrong way around, but ne never mind, it won't blow up if they are the wrong way around. I'll just swap them over. Um, and then this one here, we'll plug, so this, we'll plug this one into button, uh, well it, may, it makes no difference, but just to, just to demonstrate, let's say we put that into number into the fifth one along there so basically what we're hoping when we plug this in is that uh, these two buttons one and two this one the button five a joystick uh, will be detected as a joystick uh, and, and the, the lights will come on this is the this is the, the USB cable 
just get a USB cable, which is actually really, it's probably about 1.2, 1.4 meters long, just a standard USB. I've marked it with the number one there. If, you, if you're using two of these and you're plugging them into your computer, you want to be plugging them into the same socket each time so it recognizes it as the same computer, as the same, the same controller each time. Um, again, this, this is just a simple socket. There's only one place to plug it in. So I'll plug it into, plug it into there, and that's it. Pops your uncle. You wire up as many more, many more buttons as you as you want. Um, but for our demonstration purposes, um, that that's all we're going to do for now. I'm going to plug this into the computer, and let's take a look as if it, if it lights up as expected. Okay, so oh, uh, okay, so and that and that that's exactly what we expected. This one here, the button, is uh, the LEDs come on, LEDs uh, come on, come on to this one. Oh, the buttons are a little bit, the cable's a little bit loose there. Okay, uh, and then this one here, we didn't we didn't put the power to it, so that's why the LED is not on that one. Um, and, and the powers come on to the, the joystick. Uh, this joystick's got a little multicolored, little flashing LED thing in there, and that, that's powered by this, as we've said. Um, so that, that basically is, is it. Now, I'll show you on the computer, I'll just have to move the camera around, but um, I'll show you on the computer how that, how that works in, the, in uh, where it's setting it up in the computer. Just get, uh, let me just uh, uh, move the camera around. So uh, I've moved it over to the computer here. I've got a uh, one of the one of my spare rigs here. This is a uh, this is running Windows 10. Um, just a just a bog standard uh, desktop. Uh, so the USB just plugs just plugs into a USB port, and that provides the power. There's a, a red light on the on the board there to show you that uh, power power is is is. Uh, it's coming in okay. Um, again, the, uh, the all the lights have come on. I will tell you. You probably might notice I put this the wrong way around. This is one of those that you you can't. You 50 50 percent chance of getting it right. Uh, but it won't damage it if it's plugged in the wrong way. If it doesn't come up properly um, when you're testing this, then you, then the likelihood is that you may well have put that in the wrong way around on a joystick. You can't put it in the wrong way around on here. Sure. Settings. It sets up USB game controllers. There you go. Okay, so the game controls are similar same as it was in Windows 7 and what have you. So if we click on the, if we choose this, there's only one joystick plugged in, so it's only it's only showing you one. Status is fine. We're gonna we're gonna look at the uh, the properties. We'll look at the properties, just like any other joystick properties. Um, now what we're looking for is we're looking to make sure that these buttons work correctly. So this one was wired up to number one, so we want number one to be pressed. So you can see there number one. Uh, this one here, uh, without the lights, oh, a bit of a, of a tangled mess down here, sorry. Um, and cable plant, cable uh, routing is, is something you need to spend a little bit of time on uh, because you don't want to be moving stuff around, uh, cables popping out, snapping, what have you. This is number two, but it hasn't got the LED wired up as we know. But that's working fine there. Um, this, we've plugged into number five, uh, so there you go, button number five. So you could move that right to the end and then do, you know, have a button number 12 or something like that. There are 12 locations for buttons here and uh, um, <coughs> just to, just to give, it, give it some sort of logic to how you're putting this all together. And then the joystick, the joystick here, as I mentioned, I'd, I'd, I'd put that the, right, the wrong way around. Uh, but I swapped it around now and, uh, and there you go. You can see that that's detected perfectly. As I mentioned in the, in the, in the pinball video, the springs aren't particularly strong. But as uh, one of the guys mentioned, if, you, if you're just doing a pure pinball, you wouldn't need to add, have this on uh, anyway. But uh, there you go. So that, that, that's detected. Just incidentally, there's Gunter there on the comments that asked about a plan. Now, I've, I've just run this off very, very uh, quickly. Um, there's a link. I've, I've done this on Photoshop, um, and I've got the PSD file, and this is a PNG file on... Uh, the Google Drive. There's a link in the com in, in the in the uh, in the uh, details section below, so you can just click on that and download this. And you can you can use this. It's not it's not to scale, 
as you can see, it's not exactly to scale, but the dimensions that I used are on there. So uh, for the for this, so you can use it as a as a base to to, to design your own. Um, but like I say, the link the link for this is is, is down below the video. So just click on that. It's only it's a very very small file. Okay, so uh, we'll take another look uh, at the software. So I've just come over to uh, where my main computer here where I can record this, the screen. Uh, this is also my main gaming computer where I have uh, Steam installed and, and a, lot of other, a lot of other things going on. But basically um, what I'm just going to show you here is how, how again this works so that the joystick here is uh, the generic USB joystick here that I've plugged in just to the USB port. Now, uh, if we go to the, uh, the game controller settings here, um, properties on that, then again, as 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 was oh, happened over there, number one, number two, we got the, uh, number five set up to a single player start button or you could do whatever we want it to really and then the joystick the joystick and that I plugged it in and it detected it perfectly you don't have to set anything up um, it, it just detects it as a generic USB joystick you go into the properties and you can just check that everything is working now uh, in order to use that with a program that doesn't want to doesn't expect a joystick to be plugged in for example uh, pinball fx2 and 3 that kind of program and the pinball arcade they're expecting key presses from a keyboard so uh, you can get hold of a program here called uh, joy to key um, from from the website that you can see here joy to key dot net and basically as it explains here but you you use a joystick or in our case our our USB uh, arcade setup, um, and uh, um, the program detects a joystick input and changes it to a, a key press output for a particular piece of software. Um, this, is a, this, is a, this is a great program. Take a look at the website, and uh, and you can download that. That's free. You don't have to pay anything. Okay. So um, we're we're just going to open that. Um, and you can see here, that it tells you here on this particular profile, you can set up a profile for each particular game if, if the input re you require is, is not the same for each one. Um, but say, say here, so if you press the, press the button, first button that we've got here is this one, is this one here. Button joystick 2 because I've got a, an Xbox 360 controller plugged in at the moment. But um, <coughs> uh, you can see it's disabled. So basically, the, if you've got a program, nothing, it won't detect the button press. But double click on that and then we can, we can set the, that one there as, as enter. Okay, so you can see here now that is assigned end to that one button two, which we've also got wired up, uh, but with no LED on. You remember um, this one here? We'll, we'll use that one as escape. Okay, um, button three um, is is not plugged in, nor four, but five is is, is plugged in. Okay, so you could um, that's a, that's got the one player start uh, on there. So basically, you could use that as um, say for example on MAME you would start a one player game by pressing one uh, but th these are just examples it depends really what you want what you want to uh, to achieve in the, in the in a piece of software that you're using at the time uh, okay now the stick here we can use here this, this stick left if we oh sorry yeah, no, there we go there we go so that's that's going that's going there so if we if we use that we can we can set that to the to the left arrow key. <coughs> uh, stick right, uh, stick right, right arrow key. Uh, stick up would be the up arrow key, and uh, stick down, down arrow key. Okay. So we can use we can as you as we can use these. Uh, to set up for any any, any software, any software you want, and then save the profile under the name of the software. Joy to Key will automatically load a, uh, a profile um, if it's the same name as the executable file that you use. So if you've got FX3, uh, 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 
Pinball FX3 or something, you, know, you have a profile Pinball FX3 and it'll automatically load that setup for each one. You come out of that program, go into another one, it'll, it'll load the next, uh, the, the next profile for the software that you're using. Um, okay, so uh, that's, uh, that's about it. We save that and uh, we, can, uh, we can just uh, close that down. I've got it set so that it's still running in the background. If if, if 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 required and uh, um, okay, drop out of them. Uh, so that's that's about it. Um, if you've got any if you've got any questions, again, uh, ask please ask in the comments and uh, um, we'll catch you on the next video. Okay, cheers guys.